first uh, stretch is a myofascial release. And what, what you do is you cross your right leg over your left and then take your right hip on the top of the foam pad and you roll lift all your weight as much as you can on your hip and you find the spot where when you roll over it it's the sorest and then you just sit and hold that for 20, se 20 to 30 seconds one two three and Gus is going to help me today oh yes sweetheart hold that stretch and basically, and if it starts to feel good, find another spot. Just kind of keep it so that there's a, 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 a pretty lot, high level of uncomfort. Once you're done with the 30 seconds there, you put your right foot down, put your left hip on there, and you're kind of getting back towards where the, where the, um, it's above your hip bone, down by your pelvis, and rolling, kind of tilted to the side. Find that spot and hold it. One, two or up to 30 seconds, relaxing, shifting a little bit every once in a while, they'll roll forward and back, and find that spot where it hurts. And what it's going to do is going to release those muscles. It's going to make you feel good. The second one I want you to do is to take the foam roller and put it down on the floor. Squash Gus. Put your arm straight up, thumb ahead, and balance on your lat. Bring your hip up off the ground. And don't I don't want it on the ribs, I want it on the back, the lat muscle. Guys, get out of the line of the camera. And then, again, you just roll and find that spot where it hurts a little bit more. Hi, Janet. See? Hold the left, the hill, hold the arm up. Guys, get away. And then, you put your hand, your other hand on the hip, and then you feel that release. Find that spot where it hurts again and hold it for 30 seconds. And then, you roll over, find that lat muscle again, put your hip behind you, hand on your hip, and roll, and find that spot where it hurts. Hold it for 30 seconds.